Have you ever asked yourself why joy seems to be elusive, always around the corner but never quite right here? We often find ourselves ensnared in the relentless pursuit of happiness, always looking ahead to the future or glancing back at the past. We anticipate the next promotion, the next vacation, the next milestone, always hoping that this time it will bring us the joy we seek. Or perhaps we dwell on past victories or failures, allowing them to overshadow our current experiences. But amid this constant chase and retrospection, we forget to pause and embrace the now. The present moment is rich with opportunities for joy and fulfillment, if only we could learn to tap into it. This is where mindfulness comes in. It's a simple yet powerful tool that encourages us to fully experience the present moment, to immerse ourselves in the here and now, and to find joy in the ordinary. Mindfulness then becomes our key to unlock the door to present moment happiness. Consider the tale of a humble gardener, who found her joy not in the blooms of tomorrow, but in the soil of today. This gardener was a forward thinker, always planning for the next season, the next bloom. Her days were filled with anticipation, her nights with dreams of flourishing gardens. But somehow amidst her constant planning, she was never quite content. One day, as she was preparing for the spring season, she found herself pausing. She realized she'd been so focused on what was to come that she'd been missing what was right in front of her. So she decided to make a change. She began to truly engage with her work in the present moment. She took the time to feel the earth in her hands, to experience the texture, the coolness, the life within it. She allowed herself to be in the present, to relish the simple act of turning the soil, preparing it for the seeds. She inhaled deeply, taking in the scent of the fresh air, the subtle smell of greenery, the promise of growth. She paid attention to the sounds around her, the birds singing, the rustle of leaves in the wind, the gentle hum of nature. She found herself smiling, not in anticipation of what the garden could be, but in appreciation of what it was at that moment. The gardener began to find an unexpected joy in these simple present moments. She realized that every moment spent in the garden was a gift, not just a step towards some future goal. Each seed planted, each leaf turned, and each bird heard was a source of fulfillment and peace. Her garden became a place of presence, a sanctuary in the here and now. She learned to appreciate each moment, to find contentment not in the future's promise, but in the present's offering. Our gardener discovered that the joy she sought in future blooms was blooming right there in her hands, in the earth, in the now. So how can you, like our gardener, cultivate your own present moment happiness? It's about recognizing our tendency to overlook joy by obsessing over the past or future. It's about understanding mindfulness, the art of being fully engaged, fully present, in the here and now. Remember the gardener, he found joy in the everyday, in the simple act of tending to his plants. His happiness did not lie in some distant future, nor was it tethered to a past memory. It was rooted in the present, in the delicate dance of leaves, in the earthy scent of the soil, in the warm embrace of the sun. So here's a challenge for you. Find one moment in your day, one simple act and throw yourself into it. Be fully present and fully engaged. Find joy in that moment, however mundane it may seem. Remember the joy you seek may not be around the next corner, but right here, right now under your very nose.